Jetzt geht's endlich los, Tag 2. Wir fahren auf die Messe ins Hotel Venetian zur Expo. Schauen, ob es ein paar Neuigkeiten für euch gibt. Ja, das sind's, oder? Ja. Na, Blödsinn, da ist, oder? Na, na, da. Auf geht's zu Agilite. Aufmerksame Zuschauer wissen, dass wir bereits letztes Jahr dort waren und den Lev interviewt haben und der ist auch gerade wieder zurück und auch diesmal am Start und er wird uns erneut zeigen, was es Neues gibt. Auf geht's! Hey guys, Lev hier from Agilite. I'm going to show you three pieces of gear that are new for this year in 2024. Let's dive right in. So starting with the Magnetics Battle Belt. So what's the main issue with Battle Belts? The main pain point we wanted to solve is alignment. The common issue when you're aligning a Battle Belt is that you sort of have to start on one side and you feel your way around to the other side. And then what can end up happening is you have poor alignment like this, which means that either it falls off, it's not in the right place, and then your holster moves around to the side and your gear isn't where you left it. So this belt has two magnets here that correspond to two magnets here on the inner belt. It's right here. And then when you go to put it on, you just grab it and it finds it. So again, it just finds it just like that. And then all you have left to do is to turn around like that and close it up. Okay, so the back has the magnets. The front over here solves another issue. The issue is real estate because with a lot of belts, once you start opening up the belt, you have a huge area here that's useless. You can't attach any gear to it. So here for us, that area is a skeletonized molly curve. And that means that it goes into here, creates a very rigid connection. This goes over it and this area is still usable molly. So you can still weave something onto here. Let's talk about our pincer placard. So we have updated and upgraded the pincer placard for 2024. What we have here is now a placard that is extremely modular. It works with 5.56 plastic mags and aluminum mags. It works with 7.62 by 39. It works with 5.45. And this divider on the inside lets you either run two Glock mags or move it over and run something that's thicker like a 5.7 uh, mag or, or a um, MP7 mag, something like that. What's nice about this is that you can have your placard set up on your plate carrier and you can choose to take out your standard rifle mags and put in pistol caliber carbine mags for training and you don't have to change the placard. You just drop in these little inserts. So this same placard now works with AK magazines and it works in still in such a way that you can do one-handed tack reloads with it without looking and they'll go right in and it still works with your 5.56. So that's the updated pincer placard. Let's talk about our new IFAC for this year. So this IFAC was designed by one of my best designers, Gal, who uh, has a lot of experience in his IDF service as a combat medic instructor. And he's a very OCD person. And that really shows in this product. Uh, a good medical product, we believe, should be OCD. It should be predictable. It should be dependable. It should be reliable. And that's exactly what this is. So this is a IFAC you can mount in the small of your back, obviously on a battle belt. You can mount it on a Molly dangler that we're working on that'll hold it behind your plate carrier over here like that. Or you can just mount it on any Molly surface. Now, let's uh, talk about the outside and then we'll go into the inside. So on the outside, we have two slits right here, which are a great spot to put your uh, shears, your combat shears in here from either side. Over here at the top, you have a flap which can hold a tourniquet like this, or you can cinch it down and hold markers, uh, chem lights, stick lights, whatever you want to put in there. So if you're not putting anything in here, it cinches down and is very flat. Now, to open it up, you have two tabs. When you pull the tab, it lifts that, and then you can pull it out. Even if there's nothing in here, it's still gonna go in here perfectly. And when you pull it, it'll come out exactly the same way. So once we open this up here, you can see kind of his OCD and organization of Gal's design here. You have individual elastic pockets that are versatile enough that you can put whatever you want in them. Uh, it's not, each one isn't specifically shaped for one thing, but they organize it really well and make it so that when it's on the ground, nothing is falling out. And when you take out one thing, everything else isn't gonna come with it. There's also an extra spot right here, which is a great spot for a Sharpie or a decompression needle. So that, that's the organization. Goes into here, just like that, right on in, and you're good to go. That's the IFAC. Wir sind jetzt am Stand von Mantis, das ist der Hersteller für Trockenfeuerabzüge. Sprich, das sind Abzüge, die ihr in eure Waffen einbauen könnt. 
Die produzieren zwar leider keinen Rückstoß, aber kommen einer Feuerwaffe am nächsten bezüglich des Abzugtrainingsverhaltens. Und wir schauen uns jetzt an und vielleicht gibt es auch eine kleine Challenge dabei. Kommt mit. Well, we're talking about the Blackbeard X. Uh, currently this is set up for AR-15, Millspec. Uh, what this system does is a dry fire reset system, all right? So it just replaces the bolt carrier group inside the top of the rifle, all right? And then the battery pack powers the whole system. The battery pack also has our Mantis uh, software built into it so that it can actually link up, detects movement, and be able to give you feedback on everything. All of that movement data and shooting data gets moved directly into our application, which is linked up via Bluetooth to give you all that feedback. Da Bolle und der Hans spielen sich seine neuen Lohnverhandlungen aus. Mal schauen, ob er gewinnt. Wer die meisten Punkte hat, der hat einen Sieg in der Tasche. Auf eins, zwei, drei, los! Ja, sie treffen beide sehr gut. Bollischmann tritt ausgezeichnet, Öl ist über 90. Der Hannes braucht ein wenig, bis er in Warme kommt. 97, 98 und stopp! And the winner is... Bollischmann! Unser Michael liebt einfach leichtes Gepäck für den Alltag. So, das war Shot Show Tag 2. War sehr interessant, viel Neues gesehen, war sehr aufregend. Und jetzt geht's heim ins Bett, damit wir früh schlafen gehen, damit wir für morgen wieder fit sind. Und morgen gehen wir endlich ins Casino. Das tag man nicht im Fernsehen. So, fünf Männer. Keiner weiß, wo das Auto ist. Wo ist das Auto? Wo ist das Auto? Ja, wir haben schon einmal ein Auto. Na, wo ist das? Das ist ja nicht das erste Mal. Wo ist das Auto? Ich hab's verkauft. Das sind auf 10. Wie viele Parks gibt's? 10. 10. Und ich sag, wir sind im 9. Das kommt Haben wir nicht vorstellen, dass wir so hoch waren? Wir wollen, wir wollen schon im 6. Wir wollen schon jeden Sch anderen Parkdeck bis auf 9 und 10. Ja, ja, ja. Da trinkt er schon, ey.